Within the concentration camps established by the SS and the Nazis during the Second World War, there was execution and torture carried out around every single corner. For example, when the liberators arrived inside of Bergen-Belsen, they stumbled across 10,000 unburied corpses, which were lying all over the large site. The guards had not bothered to clear up and bury the dead with dignity, but the SS guards who worked inside of the system were horrific and brutal, and they were responsible for the slaughter of millions of prisoners and victims. But execution was a daily part of the camp's life, as at roll calls each day, the inmates were forced to watch those who had infringed on the camp's rules being executed on the gallows. This was meant to terrify the prisoners into staying in line and not committing offences in the camp, and someone could lose their lives for just picking up a scrap of food from the floor and eating it in an attempt to try and survive. However, inside of Auschwitz, there were many gallows, in which up to five or six prisoners could be condemned on at the same time each day. Often the bodies were left up too for some time, to act as a constant reminder of the crimes of the condemned. However, one element which was rife throughout the camps was deceit and trickery. The SS guards sent millions to their deaths inside of the gas chambers, using deceit, as they told the inmates they were to go and have a shower. However, when the prisoners expected water to come out, poison Zyklon B gas came out of the shower heads. This was a way in which the Nazis slaughtered millions, but soon the inmates became aware of the procedure, which was being carried out at many different camps and extermination facilities. But also using deceit, the Nazis inside of Buchenwald concentration camp executed 8,000 Soviet prisoners of war and other inmates inside of the Neck shooting facility or the Genickschussenlager. The prisoners were told they were to have a doctor's medical examination, but instead stood behind the height measuring device was an executioner armed with a pistol. Welcome to the Untold Past. Today we look at the next shooting facility. As always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Inside of the concentration camps established by the SS and the Third Reich, the concentration camps expanded to a huge extent, and they increased their killing capabilities inside of different camps. For example, Auschwitz kept building new crematoria to deal with the mass amount of executions and exterminations which were being carried out. Inside of Auschwitz, over 1 million people were slaughtered inside of gas chambers, but they utilised deceit and lies to send people to their deaths. For example, Franz Hersler gave a speech inside the camp to those before their exterminations, and he said in this, On behalf of the camp administration, I welcome you. It is not a vacation resort, but a work camp. Just like our soldiers risking their lives at the front to achieve victory for the Third Reich, you will have to work here for the well-being of a new Europe. How you approach this task is entirely up to you. Luck is on your side. We will take care of your health and we will offer you a well-paid job. After the war we will evaluate each of you on your merits and treat you accordingly. Now would you all take off your clothes, hang your clothes on the hooks provided and remember your hook number. After your bath there will be a bowl of soup, coffee and tea for everyone. Oh yes, before you forget, after your bath, take your certificates, diplomas, school reports and any other documentation, so we can employ everyone according to their training and ability. Diabetics who do not eat sugar will report to the service staff after their bath. The reality was that these men, women and children were being sent to their deaths. But many thousands of people were murdered as soon as they entered different sites and extermination camps, such as Treblinka, Sobribor or Belzech, and guards drove as many people into the execution chambers as quickly as possible. However, inside a Buchenwald concentration camp, there was a specific execution chamber and room created in which was used to slaughter as many Soviet prisoners of war as possible. Buchenwald as a concentration camp was large, and a huge number of prisoners were condemned inside the site, and it opened in 1937. But at Buchenwald, the Commandant Karl Otto Koch ran the site, but he too would then be executed inside his own camp, as he was convicted of embezzling money from the Nazis. But a huge number of prisoners were sent to Buchenwald, and following Operation Barbarossa and the invasion of the Soviet Union, thousands of Soviet prisoners of war were sent there. This was made up of Red Army soldiers, but there was a strict discipline code administered upon those inmates. But one part of Buchenwald, which saw thousands slaughtered inside of, was the Genickschussenlager, or the Neck Shooting Facility. 
This was a room in which the prisoners were simply executed inside of, but there was an element of deceit and surprise in this. It was disguised to look like a medical room, or a doctor's inspection room, or a normal room inside of a doctor's surgery, and it was similar in the deceits used inside the gas chambers to trick people into going into these rooms where their deaths would then come. But the next shooting facility was kitted out like a fully functioning medical facility, and in these rooms there were some medical instruments, including a measuring device for height, which of course you would expect to see inside a doctor's surgery. However, when prisoners were forced to stand under the measuring device, an official would help them do this, and he would then disappear. But whilst the prisoner was stood there, a hole in the wall and latch behind the measuring device would open. An executioner would then poke his pistol through the hole, and then quickly pull the trigger, leading to the instant execution of the prisoner of war or prisoner. The bullet went through the neck and would sever an artery, and the Nazis, even inside this facility, painted the floor brown, so they did not have the time to clean up the blood after each execution. Inside of Buchenwald, the Gnitschusen Lager was set up to kill huge numbers of Soviet prisoners of war who were brought to the camp following their rounding up on the battlefield. Hitler had specifically ordered his Commissar Order, in which anyone who was deemed to have been a communist, a Bolshevik soldier or Commissar would then be condemned, and this led to huge amounts of prisoners sent to concentration camps where they were executed imminently following their arrival. When they arrived at Buchenwald, it would not be long before they were sent to their execution room and fake medical facility. This looked like a stable block and was based inside of a former horse stable, which had been overhauled to look like a medical facility, but the prisoners were then told by the SS guards that to gain access to Buchenwald and the camp, they would have to undergo this short medical examination. But inside these rooms, no inspection took place, and 8,000 Soviet prisoners of war were slaughtered in the chambers. Some probably went into the facility formulating their best chances of surviving in the camp, and some may have thought that their time inside of Buchenwald was actually better than fighting for Stalin and the Red Army. But inside this facility, they were told to undress and measure their height, before the latch was then opened and the gunshot crashed throughout the execution chamber. This was a rapid and quick execution, and the body of the prisoner would then be taken out a different exit, away from the eyes of the others, they were then taken to the camp's crematoria, where they were burned quickly. One thing to also consider is that the majority of these prisoners were not recorded on the camp's records. They were not even admitted to the camp, but were executed on the site. There were other execution facilities inside of the concentration camps. For example, inside of Auschwitz, they used the death wall. This was a reinforced wall where prisoners were taken into a courtyard next to the torture block, they were then shot within seconds of being brought into the courtyard. But these executions took place publicly, and without an element of deceit, as it was clear what was going to happen to these prisoners. The next shooting facility was different, and it was created and transformed from a simple stable, with the intention of making prisoners believe they were going into a medical examination. These executions were done in quiet, and they are a lesser part of the slaughter found inside the camps during the Second World War. But inside the war, executing prisoners using gunshot efficiently and secretly was also done by the Soviets, who when they carried out the Katyn massacre, they slaughtered thousands of victims, and one Soviet executioner, Vasily Blokhin, himself executed 7,000 people with his own weapon. The true numbers of people who were slaughtered inside of the execution facilities, such as the next shooting facility, are not known, as the records of these prisoners simply do not exist, as they were not recorded as prisoners of Buchenwald. But there was a steady stream of Soviet prisoners of war who were sent to the execution chamber, and they did not know what was coming behind them. An executioner stood there with his pistol. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.